Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? and I'm a visual artist and muralist living and working in Vancouver, BC. I'm super excited to be doing this workshop with you because it's about one of my absolute favorite shapes. I use this shape quite a bit in my work from my teeny tiny drawings all the way up to my large scale murals. Can anyone guess what this shape is? I'll give you a, a hint. hint. It has no sides, no beginning, and no end. That's right, it's a circle. And circles can be found anywhere and everywhere from nature to man-made environments to our personal surroundings. So I just want you to take a minute and think about the last time you saw a circle. Where was it and what was it? In today's workshop, we're going to focus on creating circles using different lines and then embellishing those circles using different types of patterns. We're going to start with a warm-up just to get our fingers and our hands moving and we're going to create a variety of circles with whatever drawing supplies you have on hand. Um, it could be a felt, a pen, pencil, pencil crayon, crayon, whatever you have and just a plain sheet of white paper. I'm going to start with some freehand circles. Sometimes people use stencils for circles, but we're not worried about perfection. We just want to have fun with circle shapes. We can also try different thicknesses. So I've got two different types of crayons, and I'm looking at how I can transform that line using different textures and thicknesses. Now let's experiment with different types of lines. I love lines. Lines form the backbone of my art practice. I love lines because they're so versatile. There's so many different ways to use them. And a line forms a shape, shapes form patterns, and patterns can repeat. So I wanted to look at different ways we could change the shape of the line when we create our circles. So for example, I'm thinking about a nice summer day at the beach when you hear the waves of the ocean gently lapping. We could make wavy circles. And then while you're at the beach, you look up into the beautiful blue sky and you see these white puffy clouds. So now I'm thinking about making a kind of bumpy circle, almost a little bubbly that reminds us of a cloud. And then all of a sudden it starts to rain and there's lightning and then I think of these jagged forms. 
So I'm going to make this kind of jagged shape. It reminds me of comic books, actually. And then our line doesn't have to be completely solid. We can also break it up. So now I'm going to break up the line with some dashes. And then I'll do one with some dots. And then I can go back to the original circles and I can embellish them. So I'm going to add some lines to the outline here that reminds me of stitching. I could also add circles. So to this outline, I'm going to add some circles. And this ends up looking a little bit like a necklace. I could also add another line inside of the circle and maybe I want to do a wavy line just to give it a different look. So I'm going to add a wavy line to the inside of the circle. So really there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just experimenting with different forms of lines, different ways we can show circles and show how we can embellish them. So I thought it would be fun to use the circles that we practiced in the warm-up to create our own little creatures. So you could, for example, use the wavy circle for the head and maybe your creature has two heads. And then you could do the circle with the stitches for the body. Maybe the body is made up of two or three circles. Maybe your creature has a tail. What are some other ways you could incorporate circles into the body parts? So you could use them for the eyes. You could use them for cheeks, antennae, you could use them for hands and fingers, toes, feet, um, you name it. And you can give your creature as many of these body parts as you want. And once you've used the different shapes to create your creature, then you can start bringing these circles into the creature's body. So we're gonna try to pattern as much as we can with circles, and we're going to embellish those circular patterns with dots and lines. So for the exercise, I'm going to use uh, my black Sharpie and my black felt, but feel free to use whatever supplies you have on hand or whatever supplies you'd like. I personally really like the look of black and white. I find it really appealing. I think it's really effective and it can convey a lot in such a simple way. <laughs>
Thank you.